now I want to say maybe it was about maybe a month ago. It could be maybe even a half a, a month and a half ago. Yeah, about a month and a half. Okay, somebody sends me. You know, I think I must have got like five different DMs from uh, just different people on Instagram. And by the way, uh, I've never unfollowed you. <laughs> this is my sixth page. Okay, yeah, I know. I okay. know you got a new page because I had to follow you on your new page. Lately. Yeah. So, yeah. anyways, uh, so somebody sent me this, and then I. I was trying to make it, I was trying to make s sense of what I was seeing. Yeah. So I see someone whom uh, I interviewed here. His name is Lazy Dub. Okay. I interviewed him. I didn't know who he was at the time because I probably haven't seen him in two years. Yeah. Okay. And I see him talking to SPM. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then uh, somebody was recording him talking. They, they had SPM on the loudspeaker. Yeah. There's people giggling in, in the background. Mm -hmm. Um. I didn't know what to make of it. Yeah. Okay. So I called up people that might know you, you know, and I asked mm -hmm. them, you know, what's going on? And at, at that time, this person didn't really know just yet. Right. So I was like, well, I don't know what this is. Yeah. Okay. So now can you kind of elaborate and clarify what was that? So we were doing a, a concert. We had a concert. It was our last concert. Uh, from that tour. When you so, when you say we, who, who's we? Me, Mr. Capone, Lazy Dub, um, and some other openers. Actually, one of the openers was there. Okay. During that phone call, he was there too. Okay. Um, I can't remember the other people that performed. I'm sorry. Okay. But it and, was just a bunch of openers. And basically. I know your manager was also uh, Athena. Yes. Athena. Yes. Yeah, best friend manager. She was there too. So, we um, on these shows like um. They'll offer like a $200, like a party ticket for after the show or before the show. It depends. Yeah. It depends on if the show goes late or, you know, every, right. every show is different. Every scenario is different. This one happened to be after the show. It was a very good show. We, we almost sold it out. We did great. Um, we had already been on the road for weeks at that time. Okay. So we were kind of like celebrating like, hey, we, got, we just finished up with a great show. Good vibes, you know. Everything's all good. We're drinking. I don't even, honestly, like, I, that's the reason why I don't remember. I don't remember the phone call because I was, I was out of it. And I, you know, unfortunately, that's just the way it is. I don't know what happened. The only thing that I heard was what was played for me, was what portion of it that was played for me. Because I, I don't even remember. Okay, so, so at this time, around what time do you say you think this call happened? Uh, um, where SPM called your phone yeah, and Lazy Dub picks it up. If I'm correct, is that what happened? Yeah, it was like five in the morning. So it's about five in the morning. So by this time you're out. We're still, we're still, we're still up, but I don't know what we're doing. I think, I think Athena and I were, we were somewhere, we were in another room or something. This was a big suite. This wasn't like a little Oh, so this wasn't your tour bus. No. See, see, people were telling me that this happened on your tour bus. No, no, not at all. Like I said, we had the little after party deal for the show. Okay. So we'll get a, like a, a, a suite, a hotel suite. Right. And that's where we were all at, at that hotel suite. Okay. That's where it was at, yeah. Now, my next question is, and I think it's only a fair one for people that want to know, did you just carelessly just leave your phone? Yeah. Okay. Yes, I did. I, I wasn't thinking about it. You know, I just want to say this, for many years... I would have my phone on me 24 seven. I would never let my phone go because right. I was worried that I would miss Carlos's call. Right. Because if I didn't answer the phone and he would call, it would be, it would be a fight. It would be, you know, it wouldn't be good. Right. No. Because when a person's incarcerated, you know, it's, it's a different situation, right? Yeah. So I always had my phone on me. Well, because he was, had announced that he was with somebody else, all that, um, weeks prior to this, I was, didn't have a phone on me anymore. Didn't care. Yeah, I didn't care. No it more. was like, yeah, it was just kind of like, whatever. And plus, I'm thinking I'm in a safe space. It's not like I'm... You're amongst friends. You I'm thinking I'm amongst friends, people that I could trust. I'm thinking I'm in a safe space, so I don't have to really worry about my phone. Right, right. And I'm not even the kind of person, like, I'm that open of a person. I don't even have a lock on my phone. Mm. And I don't even know what the situation is about locking and calling. So I don't have a lock on my phone. Because I don't... Like, I don't have anything to hide. I'm not, you know what I mean? Like, right, right. I'm just, I'm, I'm all business. You know what I mean? I'm all business. So. Okay. So this happened around five o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Now, and you were still up? Yeah. Okay. I was up. Okay. <laughs> so now when did you catch wind that this incident happened at five o'clock in the morning? Was it the next day? No, 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 no. That night 
I like, I heard his voice. I, I remember hearing his voice on the speaker. And when you say his voice. Carlos. Okay, SPM. And I really was like, at first I'm like, am I dreaming? Is this real? Right. Athena doesn't remember either. So that's, that's the thing. Like, we're both just kind of like, shit. I mean, I wish we did. You know what I'm saying? Probably wouldn't have ended up the same. But right. honestly, that's all I remember. I just remember that. I don't remember anything being said. I don't remember a conversation. Nothing. Only thing I remember is what was played to me after. I did know that he, I was aware that he called because I remember looking at my phone and being like, oh my God, this thing lasted for like over 20 minutes. What's going on? You know, like, or almost 20 minutes, I think. When you took notice that that call was going on for almost 20 minutes, did you begin to ask, like, did anybody answer this? Only people that were there was me, Athena, and another guy. She missed her flight and everything because we were, we were like, Hung over everything. Right. So okay. I'm asking her. She doesn't know. She knows less than me. She remembers less than me. So. Right. Okay. Yeah. Now, now, well, once again, you so you guys crashed that day. Uh -huh. uh, um, who, who was who was the person? This is what I need to ask. So it's Lazy Dub on the phone with him for almost 20 minutes. But there was somebody filming Lazy Dub talking to SPM. Who was that? Do you know? The person that uploaded the video, which was Capone. Okay. Yeah, he uploaded the video, right? Correct? To his channel? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's okay. why he recorded it. Okay, now, so the day is over now. Mm -hmm. How soon after did you hear that this video existed? Um. So this is July. We're talking about July 1st. So this is when the this incident... This phone call happened July 1st or July 2nd, right? Okay, July, yeah. Around there. Okay. So the beginning of July. I know that he called. I know that Lazy picked up my phone. I know that Lazy talked a bunch of shit to him. That's all I remember because I talked to his sister, Carlos's sister, and she was like, hey, he was calling you. He was trying to, you know, for whatever reason that was, was not whatever he said, but she's like, instead he got cussed out. And I'm like, oh, well, why is he even calling me in the first place? Yeah, because you guys weren't together. Why is he calling me in the first place, right? Right. So I, I was just like, whatever. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. whatever. I don't want to deal with this either way. You know what I'm saying? Right, I just right. didn't want to deal with it. Right. I knew that he had answered the phone. I knew that Capone had recorded it. But he told me that the reason why he recorded it is so I could hear what was said. You know what I'm saying? Right. So when he played it for me, when we, I did the interview with him, which was maybe two weeks after that. So in still July, in July. Still in July. So this, just to make this clear, this, these interviews that I've been seeing on his page are not recent? No. It happened in July. Okay, so just once again... Because people think right now, again, and, and this sounds this is news to me. Yeah. People think that like the phone call and then now you're here almost like if you will, dissing him or talking bad about him. So so and where am I talking bad about him? I just want to know. Like right. where? And well it's, it's, that's what yeah. what they're saying. So you're talking about July first, July second, yeah. so two weeks later you do the interview. And I get it's mm -hmm. just now being released, so it looks different. It looks recent. It looks yes. recent. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But you can tell, like, even in that interview, I have a tank top on. It's summertime. It's hot. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Now, as far as when he showed you that video, was this before the interview or he after? He didn't show me a video. Not what happened. He played. He played. Um, he played the audio for me. Oh, okay. A clip. He said, this is all I have on me right now. And all it was was the end of the phone call, I think. I, th I think it was like towards the end of the phone call or something. Yeah. Where he's like threatening me or something. Carlos threatening me, talking about, you know, another nigga something. And then they're like, oh, nigga, we don't. And some stupid argument that it's just stupid. Right. So, yeah, that's the only part I heard. Now, after that phone call, did you ever did you talk to uh, SPM after, after no, that? No, he kept all? calling. No, I. I that's the whole point is that, you know, uh, he hasn't, t I haven't talked to him since this. So whatever he said, you know, he's assuming things too. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I now, haven't spoken to him at all. Now the question is, okay, so you heard a piece of the audio. Mm -hmm. When were you aware that there was actually a video and when did you see it? I knew there was a video because okay. I knew that he recorded it. Okay. All he, right. he told me he recorded it. We knew he recorded it. So, but he, but. He never said, oh, I'm going to release this video. Of course not. He was just like, I'm going to hang on to this in case, you know, he starts dissing me. And I'm thinking in my head, well, he's not going to diss you because he doesn't even care. Like, he's, you know, right, right. I'm thinking in my head, like, well, that's not going to happen. So I'm not worried about it. 
Okay, so so up to this up to that point, you had never seen the video, just a little, just heard the just cl- her little clip, yeah, a little that clip at the end. He said something about you know I had the rest on another phone or something like that. That was the day of the interview that I heard that. Okay. That I actually heard it, so I didn't hear it until the day of the interview okay. a couple weeks later. Now, when did you see the actual video? I still haven't seen it. Oh, I still okay. haven't seen it on YouTube. I don't want to see it. Okay, I just don't. It's yeah. kind of like um, you know all that other drama. Like I don't I don't watch any of that. I don't want to watch it. That's understood. That's understood. When somebody, this- when somebody made a video about me, I'm going to be real with you. Uh, it was almost two years later that I saw it. And I'll be honest with you. I was in here working on some music yeah. and I got a, a little tipsy and uh, yeah. I'm going to be real with you. I played it and I could not stop laughing. Mm-hmm.